Hey, what's up? Ratov Tech here with a new video. So today I was planning to do five best electric cars in 2021, but I realized that we need something better. So, and today I answer a simple question: Are electric cars green? That is, are electric cars more environment friendly? And since I value your time, let's just get straight into this. Obviously, electric cars have various advantages, and it will be biased to talk less about that. For instance, the switch to electric cars has been promoted as a major necessary step to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in order to stave the worst effect of changing climate. The switch will also significantly reduce health risk associated with vehicle emissions. Every major auto manufacturer now has at least one electric car in production, and some including Volkswagen and General Motors have pledged to phase out production of gas and diesel engines entirely. This is because with electric cars you get 1. Less regular maintenance, thus less costly. They are great for the climate. Electricity can be natural fuel but petroleum can't. They are quieter than petrol engines. So what are the darkest secrets of electric cars? One. There are little incentive to recycle the massive batteries used to power the cars. Every electric vehicle and most hybrid vehicles rely on large lithium ion batteries weighing hundreds of pounds. For example, the largest battery of a Mercedes-Benz EQC comes in at 1,400 pounds, typically made with cobalt, nickel, and manganese, among other components. These batteries cost thousands of dollars and come with an environmental burden. They require ingredients sourced from polluting mines and smelters around the world, and they can ultimately contaminate soil and water supplies if improperly disposed. In September 2020, Tesla announced that it would be phasing out the use of cobalt in its batteries to produce $25,000 electric vehicles within three years. If successful, this bold move will be an industry game changer, making electric vehicles competitive with the conventional counterparts. But the announcement also underscores one of the fundamental challenges that will complicate the transition. There may be little financial incentive to recycle the massive batteries used to power the cars, and that could lead to environmental disaster. In the rush to embrace this technology, Auto companies are adopting the same pretense that has been embraced by the plastic industry. They are claiming that used batteries will be recycled. However, the truth is being swept under the rug. None of the lithium batteries in the electric vehicles are recyclable in the sense that paper, glass and lead car batteries are. Although efforts to improve recycling methods are underway, generally around half the materials in these batteries is currently extracted and repurposed. And without the most valuable ingredient, cobalt, there will be little economic incentive to invest in recycling technology. The result, if nothing is done to tip the scale, could be a massive health environmental crisis. Secondly, does the manufacturing of electric cars have zero emissions? How eco-friendly is the manufacturing process? The cycle of making cars starts with the raw materials being extracted, refined, transported and manufactured into several components that will be assembled to produce the car itself. This process is very much the same in both conventional and electric cars. Nevertheless, at the end of the manufacturing process, electric cars are the ones that generate more carbon emissions, according to Union of Concerned Scientists. Why is this? Because electric cars store energy in large batteries, the larger they are, the bigger their range, that have high environmental costs. This happens because these batteries are made of rare earth elements, RE, like lithium, nickel, cobalt, or graphite that only exist beneath the earth's surface, and therefore depend on mining activities with very polluting processes. This is why asking whether electric cars are greener or not doesn't come with an easy answer. For instance, to produce one ton of re, 75 tons of acid waste that is not always handled in the right way, and one ton of radioactive residues are always made according to the Chinese Society of Rare Earth. Despite these pollution issues, 
research tell us not to worry about the availability of these rare earth elements. On the other hand, developing renewable energy systems has its impact as well. In the end, we should be reasonable about this, and despite their initial footprint, the impact of lithium batteries when compared to conventional cars is offset within 6 to 16 months on average driving using clean energy in the United States or two years in the European Union. From this moment on, electric cars keep being a better eco alternative to conventional cars until their batteries get to the end of its life cycle. Finally, the mining process is full of injustice. Grace Blackshaw states that technological invention in the name of sustainability means nothing if marred by injustice. I quote, any mining companies out there, wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel. This was an urgent appeal to the mining industry by Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, a US manufacturer of electric cars. Continue of quote, Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. End of quote. Let's check the statistics. For the first time ever, more than 2 million electric vehicles were sold globally in 2019. This represents a 2.5 share of the market up from 1% in 2017 and 0.3% in 2014. In the UK, electric vehicles made 11% of vehicles registered in 2020. Plug-in charging points and Tesla logos are becoming an increasingly common sight on our streets. This ever-growing number are often the cause of great celebration. For lots of people, electric cars are the perfect sustainable solution to reduce vehicle pollution and tackle the climate crisis. As we have said, electric cars rely on lithium and 75% of world lithium is found beneath the salt flats of Chile, Argentina and Bolivia, known collectively as the lithium triangle. The first problem is what? The lithium triangle is one of the driest places on earth and the mining of lithium is incredibly water intensive. Miners must drill the holes in the salt flats, pump them full of brine, leave the water to evaporate for months, and only then can lithium carbonate be extracted. To make matters worse, lithium is not the only battery ingredient with a dark side. Perhaps the darkest of all is cobalt, which is commonly used alongside lithium in batteries of many electric vehicles. More than half of the world's cobalt is mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo (DRC). According to a 2016 Amnesty International report, 20% of the cobalt exported from DRC comes from artisanal mines, in which miners use either their hands or very basic tools to dig out rocks from tunnels deep underground often for as little as $2 a day. Worse still, UNICEF estimates 40,000 of the workers in these mines are children under the age of 18, with some as young as 7 years old. Cobalt mining also comes with serious health risks. Chronic exposure to dust containing cobalt can cause potentially fatal lung disease, commonly known as hard metal lung disease. Many fatal accidents have also been caused by mines not being constructed and managed safely. Clearly, in the face of such widespread environmental damage and human rights abuses, the ethics of electric vehicles is far more complicated than the expensive car adverts and glowing newspaper headlines would have us believe. One suggestion is to develop new battery technology that relies on more common and more environment-friendly materials. Other researchers suggest optimizing the design of batteries to enable automated battery disassembly to make recycling easier. In 2018, the London Metal Exchange proposed banning sale of tainted cobalt, but this move was opposed by 14 different NGOs on the, on the grounds that it would simply drive the trade underground. Conclusion We need to face out fossil fuels, and electric cars are an integral part of the greener future. 
but as the electric car manufacturers move to the forefront of the market, they need to drastically improve their practices and steps to ensure that their role in the energy revolution is truly clear and fair. We are running to avoid the 2 degrees Celsius temperature increase and prevent the bad consequences of climate change from happening, but is preventing the bad the same as planning for the best? We have re for some time, but do we truly have enough for the long run? The United Nations forecast are that 68% of the world's population will live in urban areas in 2050, so issues like traffic, parking, high consumption rates will need to be managed as well. The truth is that public transportation is a better option than using individual vehicles if we want to lower our carbon footprint. So shouldn't we be more worried about reinventing it? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the description below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you around. Peace.